Officer Ryan Holitz was certain the couple he caught shooting up on the streets of Albuquerque would be going to jail. You have to realize at the gas station there's people with kids and stuff. The six-year police veteran was wrong. The fact that she was pregnant put a stop to what I was thinking. Crystal Champs told the cop she was desperate to find someone to adopt her baby. But at eight months pregnant, time was running out. I knew right then that I was going to offer. First, he had to find a way to win her trust, to make him seem as someone other than a cop who would take her to jail. The only thing I could think to do was to show her a photograph of my family, show her that we have children, that I understand what it's like to be a parent, to want the best for your child. Ryan tells our Nerissa Knight what he said next. I know you're looking for someone to adopt your baby. I know my wife. I know that she'll say yes. <laughs> and we are willing to adopt your baby if that's what you need. If she didn't want us to adopt the baby, then I would be willing to help her until the baby was born. His offer left Crystal in disbelief. She was shocked. The couple agreed to meet Officer Ryan the following day. He now needed to find his wife to let her know baby number five could be on the way. She was in the area that I worked at a friend's going away party. And so I, I showed up for the few minutes I had on my break. Ryan and Rebecca had talked about adopting or fostering someday, but with four children under the age of five, neither thought it would be any time soon. I just walked up to her. She's holding our 10-month-old baby Abigail, and I said, hey, honey, I just have to let you know, I found this woman today. She's shooting up heroin. She's pregnant, and I offered to adopt her baby. Just want to let you know. Did she think you were joking? No, but I think the way she puts it, this is really going to happen. And she, she immediately, just the way that she does, okay, let's do this. <laughs> she really just smiled at that moment and said, okay. Yeah, she got really excited and she just said, okay. Winning over Rebecca was easy. What Officer Ryan didn't know is that he'd already won over Crystal as well. I've heard her mention that when I said it, she looked into my eyes and to see if I was telling the truth and she saw that I was. The next night, Holitz had dinner with Crystal and Tom, and all four began planning for the baby's arrival. We put them up in a hotel, and then we just, you know, provided things as they needed and tried to assist in any way that we could with prenatal care. But there wasn't much time to prepare. Crystal went into labor five weeks early. I was very blessed that they let me in while the delivery was going on. The baby was born with heroin and meth in her system. For nearly two weeks, Ryan or Rebecca stayed with her at the hospital while she endured painful withdrawals. During one of his shifts, Ryan came up with her name. I was feeding her and holding her, praying for her, singing to her, and just said, you know, we have so much hope for you. And I said, that sounds about right. That's your name. And I told Rebecca, and she said, yeah, that's her name. After 11 days, Hope Crystal Holitz left the hospital and headed home to her new family. And our Nerissa Knight paid a visit to baby Hope at home. Wow, she's so beautiful. How are you handling all this? Being a mom of five, all under five? You're amazing. It's, it's busy, definitely very busy. But Rebecca has had plenty of practice caring for babies. I've spent the last five years learning how to do small children, and so Another baby really wasn't that difficult. It's mostly the challenge of learning the older ones in their new stages. Hope hasn't had any complications since leaving the hospital and fits right in with her four siblings. She has the same color eyes as you guys. I know, all of our children have blue eyes. Wow. Providing a loving home for Hope isn't the only thing the couple has done for Crystal and Tom. You're helping the birth parents too, you didn't give up on them. We believe that people are redeemable. Everyone is lost to a certain point and everybody is redeemable. The couple found a rehab center to sponsor Hope's birth parents. Both have been sober for two months. Officer Ryan says they're already preparing for life after rehab. They're working on helping them not only get established, but pick careers, pick a, a job that they might be interested in. I just want to continue to see them flourish, to become the best version of who they're capable of being. 
If you ask the Holitz, they don't believe what they're doing is extraordinary. But there are plenty of people who disagree. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. When Sergeant Jim Edison heard what his officer was doing, he was moved to tears. I never met anybody so unselfish. Were you shocked by what he offered to do? I was. I mean, I thought my job was to teach him. I thought my job was to talk to him about going home safe and making mom proud. And here was this young man teaching me. The proud sergeant knew he had to find a way to honor Officer Holitz, so he wrote a letter nominating him for the department's first ever outstanding service to the community award. I knew he didn't want the recognition. I was very apprehensive. But when he read the letter to his department, there wasn't a dry eye in the room. Sergeant Edison shared some of what he wrote with our Nerissa Knight. I never thought I'd see anything like this act. Really an act beyond words, beyond expression, and frankly, in my mind, what a servant's heart actually looks like. His letter eventually reached the Oval Office. My sergeant called me and said, Ryan, you got a call from the White House. And I said, no, you're kidding. President Trump wanted to meet with Officer Ryan to discuss the opioid crisis in America. He also invited the Holitz to the State of the Union address, where he told the nation about what they'd done. Ryan and Rebecca, you embody the goodness of our nation. Thank you. The couple received a rare bipartisan standing ovation. For a couple as modest as the Holitz, the attention has been unbelievable and unnecessary. That's not what we did it for. We, we did it for hope. She's enough of a blessing to do it all over again. We're just trying to uh, use this time to uh, tell the world a message that maybe will encourage other people to do what they can to help others. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.